Okay, short screen drills. When the screens are moved up close to the hitter, are they beneficial or detrimental to the hitter's development? Well, it's been my observation, something that short screen drills do is to provide a false confidence for players, for hitters. It provides a false, realistic view of what they're gonna do in the game. They do great when, you know, the coach gives them a little soft serve toss for the ball and they can control everything. It's very predictable. But here's a test, try this out. Do 10, 15, 20 pitches of, of soft serve drills or short screen drills, and then immediately get batting practice from a pitcher throwing 60 feet away. How long would it take the batter to adapt from the, the short screen drills to the authentic, realistic batting practice? Let's make this comparison. Pitchers from time to time will do flat ground work and they move up closer to the catcher. But most of the time, pitchers are spending their training um, sessions on a full 60 feet, six inches distance from the catcher. And a lot of times they will go on a mound, obviously. So why wouldn't the pitchers spend more time on the flat ground a short distance? Because it's not realistic. So effective training for both hitting and pitching, hitters need to account for space, which is gonna see the ball pass through, and pitchers have to account for space that they're gonna throw the ball into. When you eliminate accounting for space, whether for pitching or hitting, you are delaying the development. Something I always knew with my son when he was training in his younger years, or any hitter for that matter, you have to learn how to accommodate for space. You know, that is one of the pitcher's weapons to get you out as a hitter. Mess up your timing and mess up your sensitivity to space. Some people call it like spatial awareness. I call it spatial alertness because I don't just react to, I'm not aware of space, but I have to quickly react to space suddenly. I have to alertly react to spaces the ball's moving into. So as a hitter, when you understand that I want to transition my eyes from pitcher to the ball. In high school baseball, college baseball, advanced baseball, the pitcher stands 60 feet away. And the truth is, you're really not picking that ball up until a quarter of the way in. People will say you pick up the ball out of the hand. Wow, you're, you're really missing the wagon. And study this. Because even as a player, most players, when you, when you talk to them, they know that there's an illusion taking place and we don't see the ball to the hand. In fact, I don't want to try to see the ball to the pitcher's hand. But what really happens is I pick up the ball about a quarter of the way in. So knowing that, now I have to learn how to accommodate that space I will first see the ball in. And my brain creates memory. It creates a recall how I transition from pitcher to the ball. When you're constantly working in short cages, you miss this important factor that's going to affect how well you can react to space. Because the first space you gotta to react to is a space about 50 feet out away from you. If you're stuck in small spaces, can you make a short screen drill work? And the answer is yes. And you wanna put that short screen drill in the confines of understanding flight path and understanding space. The player is thinking about ball and the location the ball is moving into and then we also work on the swing pass on the deceleration side of the swing. I want to help you develop your player, your son, your daughter. Dave Kirloff, languageofhitting.com. Follow Jesus Christ. Change your mind. Let him bless you with his mercies and graces.